Hey, Nan. Do you think I could borrow you for a second? Dr. Hayworth. Just one. We do have to go. Okay, can I walk with you? Can I walk with you just a second? Okay. Right over here. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm glad I got to see you. So you see on your video now, it's going to be much before You look great. Um, so... I wanted to ask you uh, about FERC, and uh, I know yeah. you've supported, and you've stated several times that you supported the RAINS Act, yeah. um, so I wanted to know um, why is it that they haven't had any record of you contacting them uh, when they were uh, redoing the Energy well, Price Act? The RAINS Act was the way to get at FERC, to stop okay. it dead in its tracks, when we have accountability to your member of Congress right. that's required. That's the way to say to FERC. Uh, or any regulator, you can't impose these things okay. arbitrarily. And that's the key. Okay. And you know what? When FERC was trying to uh, stomp all over folks in a neighborhood in Minisink where, they were, where FERC had said a uh, natural gas pipeline could put a compressor station there, it was the Millennium right. Pipeline. Right, right. I thought, I wrote to them, I protested, I joined those neighbors at a protest. I fought against FERC. Okay. To try to place that uh, compressor in a much better location for our neighbors. But once, once you saw the gridlock, once you saw the gridlock with the Rains Act, I broke gridlock in Washington, Corey, over and over again. It's very important to do that. It's very important to have voices who will do that and work effectively across the aisle. And that's why I have mm -hmm. uh, the blessing of active Democrats supporting me. Someday we're going to get you on board, Corey. Right. Good to see you. Always a pleasure.